Alright, so let's move on to solving the problem we put up in the first video. So let me remove anything that's not code first and uh, move this function uh, or this node definition up top. This is our function prototype and we're going to make some space here for our function implementation. So this is where the code will go, right here. And before we actually write any code, uh, let's design our code. Let's make sure that we could cover everything theoretically and then move on to type, uh, writing the code. So um, what this problem essentially boils down to is covering all the special cases that are involved in removing elements from the linked list. Now the general case is to remove an element from a really long linked list at the very middle. So when you remove middle elements, this is the general case. And I've illustrated it right here. This would be our general case, number two. And what it would entail is basically taking the next pointer from the previous element that, that you want to remove. So this one is so this is the element you want to remove. You modify the next pointer from the previous element to the one that follows the element you want to remove. And you've essentially removed it from the linked list. Now the list will be connected in this manner. And then you free the memory associated with it. So this is the general case. Now, we have special cases we have to cover, and I'm going to list them here, and then we're going to be coding one, uh, we're going to be coding them all. So first there is the fact where you have to remove the, uh, the first element in the linked list. When th this is a special case because you're going to have to update the uh, head pointer. The next one is the general case, so middle element. The third one would be also a special case, and that's removing the tail element. So I'll explain this in detail in a second. Then we also have some other special cases that have to do with the length of the list. What if the length of the list is zero, or an empty linked list? What do we have to do about it? We're going to have to handle that in our code. So empty list, or uh, zero length list. And then also we're going to have to handle a special case where it's of length one, so we only have one element in the list, and we have our head and tail pointer point to that uh, sole element in the list. And then we're going to have length two. So these are special cases. Once you reach length 3, you're actually in the general case because you have a, a, a head element, tail element, and a middle element. And then finally, we're also going to have to handle the case where um, we can't find the element. So we're actually passing an element to the function, and we're asking it to find it and then remove it. But what if the element does not exist? So absent element. We're going to have to ha handle this case. So I'm just putting these pointers right here. They're not part of the code. We're going to remove them later on. But this should help us and guide us in writing the code. So let's start with the very first special case right here, removing the uh, first element in the linked list. Now, how are you going to identify that the element that you want to remove happens to be the first element in the linked list? You're going to have to put a comparison. So you're going to compare your element, or the pointer, to the element you want to remove, to the pointer that the head is pointing to. And if they happen to match, then we've essentially arrived at this special case where our element is, the, the element we want to remove happens to be the element that the head pointer points to, the first element. And what we're going to do, and what this requires to be done, is basically just update this head pointer. It, when you take the head pointer and make it point to the second element in the list, then you've effectively removed this, because now your linked list will start at this point, at the head, and move on to the very end where the tail is pointing to. And this is your new linked list. So the first manipulation we're going to have to do is just take this head and make it point right here. And this is what I'm going to do right here. So I'm going to take head, I want it to be equal to head next. Or equivalently you could just say element next, since element and head are pointing to the same first element. So this is what I'm doing right here. And um, the next thing you want to make sure to do is free the memory that was allocated to the first element. So this is what we're going to do right here. I'm going to free element. You can't put free head at this point because head pointer you've, act, you, you've already moved it. You've moved it to the sec, second element, right? So you can't do free head. If you do free head you're going to free this memory, so be careful with that. You're going to have to free what element is pointing to, and this is the first one. And when you free the memory you're going to free the data and the pointer, and then since it worked you return zero. This was the condition. We have to return a error code. If there was no error, then just remove a, return zero, and we've effectively covered the first case.